Okay, I have, uh, we already discussed about uh, some few uh, key features of the WCDMA, like you know the the reuse, the frequency reuse factor is one. Power control is very fast, like 1500 times per second. Right. Then uh, we discuss about the quality. Quality depends in WCDMA on radio resource allocation. I mean radio resource, uh, you know, management. So like what kind of power you can allocate, what kind of codes, you know, and uh, end to end your dimensioning. Uh, this all depends how well you plan your network. So quality is depends on, you know, how well you planning, you know, how well you plan your networks, right? Now. I wanted to discuss more about the orthogonality and um, how we differentiate the users within the same same cells, right? So, if you remember my previous example, uh, let's say we are in one room, okay, and uh, one room is one cell. Let us consider this is one cell, and we have uh, different users in the sales right and right now this all users are idle users okay so they are just li listening in downlink they are not doing anything with the red network right now and uh, we we have another room also which is uh, very nearby let's say this is another room okay and uh, it could be uh, this is another cell cell B and this could be the same uh, cell from the same site or maybe the different cell from the other sites so it is not the uh, topic of discussion here so they also have some users right okay now here some user wanted to start making call so let's take example this user wanted to start making call so uh, for this user I have assigned one code which is I am saying as orthogonal right you can see this is a different color has been given now another user in the same cell is asking for call so let me give a red color to this user so this is a code for this user now other user is asking nearby so he's got a green color then uh, another user is asking for so let me assign the gray, gray color to this user you can see here in this room there is a four call is going on and everybody has their own unique code right now uh, these codes are orthogonal and or we can call it as a channelization code right so this all codes are orthogonal as I say orthogonal is the uh, the basic property uh, in the communication I mean you should have all the channels should uh, be the orthogonal I means they should not interfere each other and they should be uh, separate channel right like in CDMA here I am talking that the codes are making this user orthogonal they are not interfering each other the same way in the GSM orthogonality we are getting from uh, the time slot we uh, we are on eight time slot and they are not interfering each other we are managing such a way that the two users are not interfering each other so that is how we get the orthogonality in the GSM here we are getting through codes often this call uh, codes uh, known as a Walsh code also you can search more about the Walsh code in the Wikipedia or Google and uh, and also it is known as a channel ISN codes as they separate the channels for the user right we'll talk about that what exactly and how this channelization code and what how they looks like and why they have orthogonality and all but you can see within this room right within this room 
seems to be big room compared to the another one but it has a better coverage maybe it has a certain number of user few users are uh, on dedicated mode now and they have a unique codes orthogonal codes now and the frequency of uh, frequency of this cell is uh, excuse me yeah. the frequency of this cell is f1 so uh, what will be the uh, frequency of the cell b that is also f1 that is what the reuse factor is 1 in wcdma right so now you can see how we can differentiate i mean how we can differentiate uh, these two different rooms right so we have to differentiate them so how we can uh, identify you know this is cell a and cell b because the both has the same frequency right so within the cell uh, we understand i mean we have this uh, orthogonal codes right so that's not a problem but uh, uh, between two cells how we know that this f1 is coming from whether this room or f1 is, uh, is is from this room so there is another code in the top of this orthogonal code those are the scrambling codes right so that is scrambling codes so you can see i am i am painting this wall of these rooms with a different color so here i am using the pink color so i know that this is room a cell a and i am painting another room with the the orange color so i know now uh, this is room b so you can see now you can see i have a two rooms you know one room is pink wall other one is yellow wall right and within our room if i go to this pink room i can see there is a different language i can assign right so once i know i am in which room i mean that is in the pink room that is in the cell a room then i can see what language are going on so now let's say in the cell b some user wanted to start talking so i am assigning them some codes right so they are now talking you can see here maybe my colors which is looks very similar to cell a so you can see in cell b i have a four calls and i have given the language which is almost same language which is assigned by the cell a also but i know that this users are belongs to cell b this users are still belongs to cell a right so within the cell a this users are not making interference to each other right within the cell b the users are not making interference to the each other but it may happen that they may interference to other cells or within the cell also they can interfere to each other how it is we will see in the next slide okay i'll discuss more about this so here what we understand is there is a two types of call one is orthogonal code which is channel iso code often this code is also known as a spreading code spreading codes and uh, this wall which uh, we have talking about which is known as a scrambling code so we'll see more on the next slide so let me stop here